Here we have a bottle with a cap with three holes in it. Now the purpose of this is to uh, illustrate what you do if you've only got a cap with two holes in it. Okay, well, but if the three holes are in it, we have one uh, tube with a cap on it that we can remove to release the pressure or insert to uh, hold the pressure in the tube. <clears throat> we have another tube about two feet long that's a pressure tube. We can siphon a little bit of water in here and use a water plug uh, to create an air column between here and the capped end of the tube that allows us to get an indication of pressure changes inside the bottle. And we have the longer tube, of course, in which we can raise water uh, and do various things. Now, if you've only got two holes, how in the world uh, if you've got two holes, you've got the long tube and you've got the short tube, but you don't have a hole for the pressure tube. So the question is, how in the world are you going to get a pressure tube? Very good question. So here's a bottle uh, with a cap and only two tubes coming out of the cap. One is the long tube and the other is the short tube. How do we manage to get a pressure tube on this? Well, all we have to do is we have to take a T. Okay, let's see. We can hold that up so you can see all three uh, sides of it. Okay, now that T inserts into the tube, and we simply take a pressure tube and insert that. Uh, Okay. Now, of course, we still have a hole here, and that's going to defeat our purpose, but all we have to do is cap that hole, and we can just put a cap on that, a cap consisting of uh, a short piece of tubing with some glue in it. Now, there are other kinds of caps. Okay. Uh, we could... put a short piece of tubing on here, and that piece isn't capped, but we could then put a cap on that tubing. Uh, and I guess I didn't get that completely inserted. You want to insert it pretty firmly, I guess. Uh, we have a cap consisting of a larger uh, piece, a, a piece of tubing of greater diameter that can go on the top of this like so. And we also, in some packages, but not all, have uh, shorter pieces of tubing, very similar. As a matter of fact, cut from the T and uh, hot glue squirted into it so that it forms a cap. One way or the other, uh, you have your T which will run to a pressure tube, and the other end of the T would be capped in one manner or another. 